Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we continued on with construction and managed to get the entire first cell block built for the most part there's the odd little bit to do there and obviously a floor to put in it's just aesthetic touches but mostly sorted similar thing for the shower we just need to put the floor in the morgue and the infirmary also built and just all the little odds and ends done like extra walls and designation of deployment and such so overall pretty happy with that in this episode we want to get at least visitation rights and the governmental security ratings done so let's just work on the latter one so dog handlers and armed guards so over here we are going to go for walls and doors and then the wall classy and then we will build it along here so we want to have this come along and then down and at the bottom we will have a staff door there but then this one will be a solitary door because it is the toughest going and then let's just build the rest of this so we need the kennels which we do have let's just place that in there and I guess also we might as well place a staff door in there as well let's just unpause that and put it to max speed to crack on with it we also need some uh, this is a security room I don't actually think we really necessarily need one but we'll have one basic. Uh, this is the dog crate which still I can never fathom which orientation it is in. Let's just place that in there and see what it looks like. I have no idea what it is like but uh, yeah we'll find out in but a moment. Let's just place that one there and see what it is. That is the right orientation so that'll run down to there, that'll run to there and then obviously opposite you've got the dog ball as well which will be right in the centre so it's a bit of a cramped room but it will do the job quite nicely. The dog ball it says increases dog stamina by a small amount so it's definitely worth having that and yeah uh, <laughs> people have to walk through here through all of this is going to be uh, not ideal. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of that we might we might end up altering it. We shall see. Anyway, that is uh, two dogs. The armory will also need to be connected. Um, actually, will need to be built for a start. 26 minutes in order for me to unlock that. Uh, over to deployment here and then to staff only all of that will get done naturally and then we need to think about uh, all of this which is visitation and such so let's see would we place both of these as visitation I'm not entirely sure whether I want both of visitation I'm actually tempted by this as visitation because of where it is so that it can come out here and then go straight to it but it will all depend on the planning so we could have it so that they are not uh, meeting the the visitors so we'll have those closed booths but if we were to use the open ones we could have we could them no we couldn't have really have them across there we could have them let's say three and three that have to be against the wall actually that's that's something we know we don't really normally place them against the wall we could just do something like that uh, that's not too bad although again not ideal it uh, looks like whatever direction we put them, they're not going to be ideal, although we could do the closed off booths instead. And the closed off booths would go on there nicely, wouldn't it? Mm, and that stopped a lot of contraband being brought in, but I don't think it's going to really matter. So I think we'll just have and these ones here. We were going to originally have some of these as some parole, but I haven't yet decided. But I think we'll go for maybe visitation here and visitation here because of the amount of prisons that we have and if we were to do that what would be the best way to place them would it be something like that on the walls i think it is just put them against the walls like so and then walkways up and down so it'll be something like that and this one here we could have the entrance with metal detectors i don't think we need it but something like that anyway in fact i'll probably put those two that side just to give a little bit more space there uh, something like that. Anyway, but it does require the building of at least most of, at least, at least most of this. How much would that cost? If we were to go to foundations to more and then the blue classy walls, it would be eight grand. We've got enough for that. Let's get that built. So I'll place that in and then once that's done, it requires an entrance where I will put an entrance as, where is it? Walls and doors, doors, it'll be a standard standard door there actually what I will do is put a bit there and then a metal detector so that'll stop stuff going through yeah that's a reasonable thing and then the staff door can go on that side actually it won't be a staff door would it It would be a visitor door there we go and there's that in and the similar thing will go on here so that's fine over to armory then we'll get that sorted as well so rooms and then armory and then we'll build that and this requires well all of what it says there weapons rack 
a guard locker and tables so the weapons rack we can place i like placing them at the end there it's two grand for both those but that is fine and then the tables we can go for one two no maybe not actually yeah one one and then two that's now in and the guard lockers will go on this side I only need two because we only we're only getting it for grand purposes. So once that's done, I'll build that as well. Definitely check deployment again, and yes, it is set to that. Um, we will set that to access only. A similar thing to this one, and yeah, that's about right. You've got all these extra bits like assign doctors and prioritize areas and all of that. It's nice to have, but it does feel. Like, it's a case of, we can't fix it, let you let you sort it. <laughs> it really does, at times. Um, I need to build the kitchen and canteen, but I don't have the money to do that. Oh, what's happened there? Curious. I can fix that. Over to walls. Demolish walls. Those two there. Actually, it might just be that bit. Let's just go for... Get rid of that. Objects. If that was a wall there for a metal detector, would we have the visitation tables? It would be better if we just had them like that. No, you can't have them like that. Don't really like the layout of that. No, you get don't get much in anywhere. This will be like those, and then one, two. Regardless, whichever way you're putting them in, there's going to be some upset, isn't there? I guess that. Somewhere like that. And I'll remove those so the metal detector will be... They can pass stuff over, but the metal detector will be on the way out. They're already going through a metal detector here anyway, so if they we're going to be scanned, we may find there. Assuming they actually scan the visitors, I'm not entirely confident they do. So there's that in. Um, let's just go for visitation. So we'll build all of that like so. That little bit will be removed. Over to objects, scroll in, visit a table, and it'll be that orientation. Obviously, we do need to put in some power, so I'll run that as well. So electrical cable from the middle, straight down. There we go. Right, so that is visitation room, and that's that okay. We do need to build a common room with a pool table, TVs, and five phone booths, etc. Phone booths are going to be very easy because, well, we're going to put them in here. There's three. There's six. There's that sorted. So we need a common room. Common room is going to be either here or maybe around here. Haven't yet fully decided, but yeah. I'm going to cheap out a bit. Common room. Like that. Objects. It says pool table and two TVs. One, two. Pool table. Grant completed. Remove that. Remove the room. It means I've got that extra money to then put elsewhere. We have all manner of options here now. Giving something back. Sell back to the grid, self sustaining. Max sec infrastructure is soon. Right, we can get that done in a second. I'm going to go for prisoner acclimatizer list and engagement. Alright. Walls. Classy. Let's get them done. Uh. Hopefully they don't wall themselves in one side. Almost certainly they will. And we will go for staff, uh, armed guards, one, two. And our dogs, one, two. And we just need to assign them. Can we just assign dog handlers? No, it's definitely to a patrol. So one, two, three, four. Uh, arm guards, one, two. Dogs, one, two. Hmm. What's going on there then? I've assigned them. And they're not doing. <laughs> they're exhausted. 
they started exhausted. But to be fair, looks like they have actually started there. Arm guards. So where's that arm guard then? The fact that they start off exhausted is something I'm not a big fan of. It seems wrong. Uh, staff. Oh, only hide one, did I? Thought I had two. Alright. So, if I just take our deployment then. Definitely deployed. So, where's the other one? One there. And one there. She's waiting for the dog to <laughs> sleep, are they? Okay. It's because the dog's tired. That's Chewbacca as well. We found the dog Chewbacca. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. There's that grand completed. Uh, we'll go over to our um, deployment patrols and obviously remove all of those patrols, followed by firing both armed guards because I don't plan on having armed guards in here. We can now go back over to grants and go for the MaxSec infrastructure grant, which is to increase the size of our security force, unlock body armor and tasers, which I will do. And then we need to build CCTV. So rooms, security. This front one will be set up as security. We will have in here a, a chair and then a desk because you need all that. Finally, cabinets can go either side because why not? Followed by a CCTV monitor and cameras. So it would be logistics. No, utilities, should I say. Uh, no, being changed. CCTV monitor, not even built. Uh, surveillance, let's unlock that. While we're here, we'll go for... Mm, I'd like tax relief. Oh, 54 grand, we can definitely go for tax relief then. Uh, legal, might as well unlock legal. Not going to unlock guard towers though. And there you are. So, we need to assign prisoners to laundry, to the cleaning cupboard. So, the cleaning cupboard we're not yet having, but I will go ahead and back here have our laundry. I think this is a reasonable size for a laundry. So let's go ahead, laundry, and designate all of that. And what else do we need? Laundry machines. So laundry machines will go up the top here. One, two, three for now. Don't really need much more than that. What I do need though is probably more power. Oh yeah, I'm running close to capacity on that one. So let's put some more capacitors in. Let's just build the capacitors like so. 10 grand on capacitors. Probably not a smart move by me, but no one ever accused me of that being smart. So let's just run most likely the uh, pipe up to there and then increase the piping to that. So that's all now connected. We'll have a table which will go in here, followed by laundry baskets and ironing boards. The standard size ironing boards are pretty much pointless. You might as well use the small ones because they do the exact same thing as far as I'm aware. Yep. It's just there's a short ironing board, so why would you not use the shorter one? <laughs> there's no reason, as far as I can tell, not to use the shorter one. And the laundry baskets, it doesn't matter where they go because they always get shifted and moved along anyway. So there you go. So now we have a laundry. Excellent. Um, we need to put some flooring in and we will do that right now. So over to flooring and to our concrete tiles. Concrete tiles will run up into the reception. In fact, I think... I think reception can be that tile. And let's get some of the main walkways done. This is where obviously prisoners will be uh, wandering around and such. So we need to make sure that's all in. And in there. And in this bit here. This is going to be... Can't be white tiles because it's indoor only. Can't be cargo floor either. Reclaimed rubber. That'd be a nice contrast. <gasps> Five grand. Yeah, that's it's definitely <laughs> definitely good contrast. We should improve efficiency by installing a door control system. Ah, and so it begins. <laughs> good grief. Alright, how we're doing for surveillance? An hour and a bit left. Similar thing for tasers there. And then that'll give us the MaxSec infrastructure. But I think we are very close to getting prisoners. I think we'll get over here. God, our daily cash flow is quite low. Let's go ahead and object this thing up. So, tables. Um, those. And those. 
that's bench small. I know some people were wanting me to do use the bench small, but have like two small benches here. That actually is a really nice idea. I think that will give it that will give it a nice little ed added touch. I've already started with the other benches, so I I'm not going to do that. But I do agree that it would look quite nice. There we go. There's that in. Similar thing for the fridges and cookers over here. Something like that. Fridges. I think that's about right. Running low on cash, that is correct. So we're gonna have to pick up some gonna have to pick up some grants. Uh sorry, some some loans. So over to f no grants. Increase the size of the bank loan. Immediately just takes out a 25 grand bank loan. Like it's no one's business. Just, yeah, 25 grand. No problem. No problem. <laughs> just, just take that out. Uh, so CCTV monitor is going to go in there. And CCTV cameras, one, two, three, four. Uh, how many do we need? Uh, we need six in total. These will be d destroyed. Uh, we, we're not going to use them. There's no need for them. And we then need to increase the size of our security force, which I think take it to uh, 20. There's that grant now done. Cancel all the building of that because it is pointless. And we'll probably demolish that. That takes up a 37 grand. And now we'll go for probably... Reform through education initiative. That takes us to 52 grand. Okay. Let's just double check. We have holding cells. We have laundry. Sorry, not holding cells. We have our standard cell blocks. Laundry. Uh, concrete tiles getting built for the walkways. We don't have solitary and we don't have protective custody. We don't have a security room. We don't, or we have visitation, but we don't have any walkway to it. Let me just run these walkways along and into there. Obviously, this is going to be covered in grass and such. It'll look quite nice once we're done with it. Not yet focused on that yet. But, what are we desperately missing? Desperately missing, I would say... Assuming we don't get any prisoners that are need of, in need of protective custody, I think the only thing that we really need is solitary and a common room. With those two things, will we be alright? I think so. Just placing these metal detectors in. And walls and doors. That goes in there. Obviously we'll need to power that up, so we'll run that there. These rooms will need to be powered up as well. So if I do that, be a bit cheeky here. Because <laughs> all of these come with electrical cable. Um, and there we go. Metal detectors. One, two. Tiled wall. There. And I think a bin. There as well. That should, all, that should be all powered up. So we're getting there. I want to spend a bit of money to tile some things, but I don't think it's going to happen. But I think that's the main... The main bit of it done. This requires water, which we'll connect up. I'm going to connect up this side as well. So... Bins. I know we've got loads of bins in here. Actually, yeah, I'll remove that one. Don't really like it. Dismantle it. Then the sink. One, two. But that's alright. Uh, probably should have a door going between these here. I am going to change it to a staff door, even though the prisoners can have access to it. Uh, staff door is a bit more secure if it kicks off. That's the only, the only thing, really. The only difference. In here, then, let's have some toilets. So, toilets... It's going to be... Mm, I'd like to have cubicles. 
I can have cubicles. Oh, I should have just done that in the first place then, instead of instead of these. Why oh, not? We can't have cubicles. Well, we can, but I'm not going to. It's just a bit of a mess on. That's not the right sink. <laughs> what sort of sink do we want here? Proves a canteen's grade. We're not doing grading like that. Oh, look, a small serving table. And large dining tables. All the dining stuff we are going to be looking at once we've got prisoners settled in. Sink and mirror. There you go. Those will go along there. And... I'm sure there's like hand... Hand dryers. Yeah, hand dryers. Like that. Um, I should really clone it over here as well. But I haven't. Chandelier. Sometimes you think, have they even... <laughs> really? Chandelier? Really? You think that's necessary? <laughs> Prison architect? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, nice to have the option, but sometimes less is more, isn't it? Anyway, toilets. We should install a dock control system. That's going to get annoying, and every time I say it, it's going to annoy me as well. But whatever. We will survive. Oh, right. Oh, I was just about to make a, a big mistake there. I was going to run this across and connect them up. Historically, you don't want to be doing that because it used to break the water supply. It just didn't understand and it was all over the place. So now that's hopefully a little bit better. So we have uh, the kitchen and canteen done for what we need it to. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's done enough for that. We've got this pretty much sorted. Walkways around there. Shower. Oh, actually, yeah, it does work with the with the dark reclaimed stuff. It does work. I don't think it's great. Snow. Don't think so. Yeah. It's it's all right. It does work. I prefer a different colour. We may change it to something else later on in the game. So, is that pretty much all we need? No, because if we're obviously having all of these staff, we need to get more stuff in here. So, a little bit of a gap there. Drinks machines. Uh, do you need... Side feature of any overworked staff member for a coffee machine. We'll put two coffee machines in the corner then. And there's like arcade cabinets. I don't think you need them in here. Radios. And hat and coat stand as you come in. The officers will benefit from that as well. It'll look quite nice. But it's not necessary. It's not needed. There we go. Alright, we probably need to put some more stuff in there. Certainly a dock control system in the game has very much reminded me many a time that we need one of those. I'm going to double check our deployment and we can see that there's some with no access, some closed off. Haven't yet got a... don't know why all those are just dumped there. Haven't got a road gate or anything. We will probably get one eventually. Um, very concerned people can hop over the wall because it's it's quite, uh, quite an easy one to do because the fence is small. But... I think we are pretty much there for prisoners. What I need is this. So this is our security room and solitary. What colour do we want that wall-wise? Could stick with the tiled. We could go with the blue. I think we'll go with the, the tiled. Why not? Requires an entrance. Walls and doors, doors. Solitary door, place. And then security solitary doors. Um, 600 each. Bit expensive. But we'll build some of them. Just the top ones. Then once it's in, we'll put the tiled walls in. We should increase the efficient... No! Don't be saying it. <laughs> Dock control system will be placed in at some point. 
don't entirely know when, but we will place one. And let's just get this connected up to the grid. So the grid, the closest bit to the grid is here. I'm going to run it across, down, across, down, to there. Because when we change this up, what we'll do is just sort of cut that there, run that up to there, and then it means all of this will be on the separate grid. So it'll all it'll all work out. It'll all come out in the wash, as they say. I haven't got a scanner machine, which is something I sort of forgot about. So we, we scan the stuff that comes in through our imports. Haven't you got that, but we shall see. Okay, well, we have... Cell Block C, Prison Acclimatization and Engagement. And... Yeah, I quite like the look of that. And Reform Through Education Initiative, which we will not be doing anytime soon. But... Got 11 grand remaining. We have... I think most of the stuff required to get prisoners in and keep them happy for the time being. We need a common room, but other than that, we've got the basics here. Intake, medium, fill capacity would be 52. Let's go for half that what's this remove intake restrictions troublesome events such as prisoner riots and staff strikes will normally block prisoner intake until the next available day huh so we can take that to bring them in nope all kinds of nope oh we can bring a legendary prisoner in though which uh that's not happening for the time being right i've set it up to bring 26 prisoners in what else do we need we need some more cooks one two three four five six i say more we need some amount of cooks we now got those I think that is about right. So in just under nine hours in game, we will get our first prisoners. Quicker than I thought we'd get them, but it does light a fire under this one now. So we need to get uh, some of these extra rooms. Uh, specifically, I want to get in the protective custody on the left-hand side, as well as common rooms, which I think will be here and here, but I haven't yet fully decided. We also need to start getting some programs running as well which is also going to cost but overall i'm happy with the progress so next episode we'll get some we'll get some prisoners either way i hope you have enjoyed the episode and for what it is the series thus far and it's time we increase efficiency by installing a door control system hope you have enjoyed it comments in the comments thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings